Real quick, just uh, if you watched my other series, you saw that I had some recording issues and I had to scrap about five or six episodes that I had already recorded, so we missed a large chunk of games. Luckily, most of the episodes were in the other series, the single team, single team series with the Graf Shop. Uh, we've gotten the recordings caught up at least. We did miss a big chunk of the season, unfortunately, because of that. This one only cost us one episode, but that was to be today's episode, which you're not going to see. So we're going to play the very next game, so we'll get you caught up on that in just a second. Hey guys, RC here, back with Club 3, Episode 2 of our journey, Bielsa Journeyman save. We are currently in England with Leicester, having jumped ship from Eintracht Frankfurt after qualifying for Europa League or Euro Cup or something. It's been about a week since I recorded. And uh, in the meantime, we have had, uh, hell has frozen over. Uh, we have had uh, sub-freezing temperatures for about five days. We were without power for two days, two and a half days. No heat. Uh, we're possibly on a water boil notice right now. Uh, not sure. So we have plenty of bottled water and plenty of blankets to try to stay warm. See, I'm wearing my, uh, my sweatshirt. But luckily, power's back on or I couldn't be recording. Uh, but haven't been out to work this week. The weather has not allowed it. Uh, we actually got snow for the second time in 20 years uh, back on Monday night and Tuesday. So we've had ice on the roads all week long. And uh, so thankfully my company said, don't chance your life. It's not worth it. Stay home and work. And uh, I have been doing some work, making some calls, getting emails out to all my customers, letting them know that I'm still here if they need me. And now that I have power back on, I am back for you guys as well. Luckily, because I do my recordings ahead of time, we have not missed any days uh, from you guys being able to watch videos. So that's good. So let's roll some highlights and then we'll get you guys caught up. So this was supposed to be the match that we watched th uh, this episode. We're going to show the highlights from it. It's the Carabao Cup against Petersboro. We're in the blue, Petersboro in the pink. And we were supposed to win this comfortably. Nagomi from the midfield drills it into the corner of the net. That puts us out to a 1-0 lead. I'm going to speed it up a little bit here. Rush to Nagomi into the box. And there's Mikeaton. Mikeaton was complaining, wanting more playing time. We gave him a start here in the cup. And boy, did he respond. Another drive tipped right into the space of Andre Stanislescu. And I just call him Andre because I can't pronounce that last name. That made it 3 0. 33rd minute. We are on the attack once again. Nagami, and it's tapped in with a header by Mikaden. And that's a brace for him. Again, the ball bouncing around the attack zone. Rush lays it off. Nagami across to Mikaden, and that's his hat trick in the 54th minute. 5 0 at that point. They lump it forward. They get the header, but it goes sideways to Menza, and he places it with a left shot. And that's one of our new players. So two shots for Petersboro, 42 shots, 22 on target for us, 6-0 win. So let's get you caught up here. Uh, of course, we had the season debut in Episode 1 with West Ham. Uh, we lost to Sheffield United 4-1. to Jamie Romaine scored in the second minute and then got sent off. We beat Shrewsbury 1-0. Stanilescu with a goal there. Salford, a 5-0 win over them in the first round of the Carabao Cup. And you can check out the goal scorers uh, either here or here if you want to. Lincoln, a 1-1 draw. Frank Matthews with the lone goal. Portsmouth, a big 3-1 win. And in that one, Birmingham was a 2-2 draw. Robert Cernan got a brace. And if you recognize that name, and we 
you don't remember us talking about him. We did sign him from Eintracht Frankfurt. And then the Petersburg game that we just showed you highlights from. We have to go a couple of days to the Walsall match, but let's just get you caught up on any business that has been taking place since the 1st of August. You can see we do have uh, three outgoing players plus two loanies, Luke Turner, uh, Pavlos Manusakis, and Liam Waite all go off for some small money, 275000 for Turner. So that's good. Oh, yeah, the, the Manusakis picked us up $33 million. I actually thought that was thirty three k when I looked at that. Uh, he's a 29-year-old right back. And uh, yeah, just one. That was one of those offers I couldn't refuse. So we get 33 million up front for him, going up to 42 million. And then on the back side of that, we did make one pickup, Danny Chiapella from Spal for 2.6 million. Uh, he is an attacking player. He can play central mid and all three attacking mid positions. He's going to be depth for us. He's 18, and he's currently on loan at Wolves to aid in his development down in the championship. But uh, thought he was a pretty good prospect for us. And pretty good prospect. I'm glad I have a pop filter on here. Too many peas rolling out of the mouth. And uh, But, yeah, he's uh, he's got some potential, five-star potential. Needs a little bit of development. Everybody else you should be acquainted with. Romaine was new this year. Uh, Carpenter, we got them back on loan from Chelsea and Man City, respectively. Uh, they were both guys that were here last year prior to us taking over. Jordan Mensa was our first big signing from Norwich for $20.5 million. Robert Cernan and Frank Matthews cost us uh, 12 and a quarter and two million respectively from our former club at Eintracht Frankfurt and uh, Danny Parsons and Sean Rollinson cost us a little bit of money there 14 and a half and about a half a million dollars. Taking a look at Eintracht Frankfurt, they are currently fifth in the Bundesliga. So they are after two matches, they're doing well. Uh, let's take a look at their transfer history just to see what they did because we have not done that yet. So Armand Brueger goes out on loan. DeVos, uh, that was a goalkeeper, correct? Yes, good goalkeeper. Uh, our reserve, he goes out on loan. Cernan was sold to us, as was Matthews. Uh, don't recognize him. Ponovich is sold for eight and a quarter million to Al Garafa, and Yao Kamara goes to Yorient on a loan, and they brought in five, six new players. A big signing, uh, Bezlika for $22 million from FCN, $15.5 million for Kempster from Guther Firth, and $4.4 million. I don't know where these guys play. So he's a mid-center, attacking center, uh, right winger, attacking winger, and striker up top. Wow, 16 to 20 finishing. 21-year-old Japanese striker. He looks pretty good. Four and a half million would be a bargain, I think, for that. All right, uh, let's see. Anything new? We drew we do uh, we drew Chelsea for the next round of the Carabao Cup, third round. I believe they want us to reach the third round, so we have done that. So if we get eliminated by Chelsea, which we should then uh, that will be okay. We're currently second in the table, one point behind Birmingham, 13 points from six matches and in the automatic promotion spot. I have forgotten how much I really detest the championship. I love England and fo I love England football manager, but uh, the championship, man. <laughs> so much, 46 matches, that is a horrendous horrendous schedule. All right, well, let me get up to the next match, and then we will get going with today's match. All right, we're going to go with Van Essen in goal today. Is that who I want? That's who my assistant manager is telling me to put in there. I'm going to go with Rollinson. Uh, Rush, Rush, uh, so I did go over some of this. Rush uh, had a team come in for him. He was willing to renegotiate, so we've extended his contract out to 2059, so that kind of squashed those. McNeil has uh, asked to be transfer listed, and I believe I've got a promise to him for that. Now, we did fail to sell him, but, but, <laughs> 
they haven't come in for the right offer. We've been getting really low ball offers on him. I've agreed to sell him, but it's going to have to be at the right cost. We're going to go with Cernan up top, Romain, Stanilescu, Mikatin on the, on the uh, attacking line, Nagami and Day in the mid, uh, Lindorfo, Felix rounding out the back line on the right side, Rollinson in goal. Let's get to it. And I want to make sure because I did change for the other series, and I don't know if that affects this one. Let me pause it here real quick. Yep, still extended highlights. I had changed it to uh, key highlights for last episode because we did two matches in that one because it was the uh, finals. So a deep pass, and Moss lets it go out. He'll take the goal kick. That was interesting. He had no pressure on him, so I'm not sure why he just let that go. That was odd. All right, there's Mikatin. Mikatin, of course, coming off the hat trick. Here's Cernan, and he goes near post. And that was really close. A good stop, and then just booted up into the stands to kill the pressure for the time being. Rush cleared out. Back to Nagami. There's a cross in and cleared out for another corner. We are looking dangerous here. Let's encourage the team. Romain plays it short, days into Felix. And there's a header that goes over, giving Walsall the goal kick. We're dominating possession thus far. Four shots, three on target. We need to make some of these count. Oh, that was pretty horrible by Felix, but he gets it back. There's a big ball up. Cernan, too far away from him to make the run onto it. Moss corrals it and clears it out. There's a nice ball up. They are in the attack now. A cross in. Cleared out. Stanilescu. Finds Cernan. He's on the attack. Into the box. Mikatin, Cernan, and taken down in the box, but it's cleared out. No foul given. Five shots, three on target. Come on, boys. Oh, uh, the route one pass right into the box. It is blocked. Lindorfo's on it. Lumps it forward. That wasn't a great pass. Nagami in the mid. Pick out a few good passes. There's Mikatin. Finds Felix on the overlap. No pressure on him yet. He's into the zone. Mikatin's there. And Felix was looking for a cross. Can't pick out anybody. And there's Stanilescu. Andre turns on that. In the box. Fourth goal of the season. And that gives us a 1-0 advantage. You know, I'm contemplating a tactical change here. Good goal. I really like a two-striker setup. But Oh, well, that's a nice directional header by McNeil right today in the mid. He's looking for space. Finds Rush coming on an overlap. There's a cross in. Stanilescu with a header and forces a save by Moss. I'm going to demand more here. We need to do better. Convert some of these chances. Lindorfo. We're dropping back. Looks like that attack died out. All right, Mikatin again. There's Andre Cernan. There's a through ball. Stanilescu, and it's got a good save by Moss. Turns it away, giving us another corner. 
I know that he hasn't kicked that yet. All right, I am going to mix it up. We're going to go to a 4-2-4. Four, four. Uh, Stanilescu slides out to the left. Romain switches from the left to the right. And Mikeyton moves up front. We're going to play him as a poacher, uh, which is one of his natural positions. That hasn't taken place yet, but it should take place here shortly. A lot of, lot of compact area in that box. A lot of people sitting back defensively. I mean, they're playing a flat 4-4-2. Four, four, they're putting eight people back on us. It's going to be difficult. Romain. All right, we're into the new tactic here. He's deep into the corner. There's a cross in. Cernan with the headers on target. Romain looked really good. Portsmouth beating Wolves 3-0. Moss with a nice save. Romain on target with the set piece. Up to 10, 11 shots, 8 on target. There's a good clearance out just deep into the other end of the field. Oh, nice little heel kick. That's over the top. Cernan runs onto it. And it's tackled away by Marco Orello. Good defensive play. Romain into the box. Cleared out. Back to Nagomi and booted clear. All right. Let's demand more again. Nogami looks like he's a little tired. Romain into the wall. That draws another corner. That'll be our ninth of the first half. They've committed seven fouls. That's pretty crazy. And a set piece. And this is where, <laughs> well, that's usually where you kind of pucker and go, well, there's where we give up the equalizer, right? 14 shots to two in the first half. We have been dominant in this match, but the scoreboard is all that matters. Uh, I am going to point my finger. Um, guard against complacency. Don't think the job is done. I'm going to drop back from attacking to positive. Kind of slow it up a little bit, be a little more precise with our passing, our decision making. Nagami's going to end up having to come off here soon. So, yeah, so Rush has signed a new contract. McNeil still wants to leave. We just, uh, you know, we're waiting for the right bid. And you know what? He's He's got, I think he's got four years left on his deal. So I'm not in a hurry to sell him, but, you know, we don't want him to get, oh, there's a brilliant through ball, and it's Mike and, and he misses. Come on, if you want to start, you need to do better than that. All right, let's go ahead and sub off Nagami. We're going to bring on uh, Matthews, I think. Check him out. Yeah, we can bring him on. I think Kevin Day can play pretty much anywhere. Let's swap those guys. Yeah, that's where we want to go. Just the one sub right here. Still about five minutes earlier than I usually do pull a sub in the first half. Nice ball through. Cernan with the touch. Oh, and it got past Moss, but it trickles wide. He was called for an offside, though. That's okay. A yellow card on McNeil on one of those plays. Cernan, a flick on header. Mikeyton is there, and Romain gets the rebound. He takes a shot. Let's bring Menza on on the right, and then, yeah, he can be an inside forward. He can do that job very well. Their back line is looking tuckered out. And here's Menza into the box. There's a header in by McNeil, his first goal of the season. And honestly, if he's going to leave, Score more goals like that so you drive your price up. Nice ball. He goes up, beats his man, and that gives us a 2-0 advantage. 
We're going to drop some praise on them here for that. Uh, another through ball, Mike it in, and he puts it in. His fourth of the season coming off the hat trick against Petersboro in the cup match. First league goal, two goals in a four-minute span, and that makes it 3-0. And we come right back for a kickoff highlight. Thank you. So thirsty. Oh, that was brutal. What a cross. Got to give him credit on that one. First shot on target. It's in the net. Um, let's demand more. That was a heck of a pass, though. Wow. Not a whole lot going on here. Rollinson out to Felix. Oh, Cernan beats his man. Look at the ball into Mikanen, and that's his second goal of the match. Cernan gets the assist on that one, and that was huge. All right, let's go ahead and pull another sub here. Is there anybody I want to play? Orbit's 31. I'm still new with this team, you got to remember, so I'm kind of hey what i'm gonna bring him on for stanilescu he's out of position but we're gonna make him an inverted winger he should be able to play out there it's cutting inside to his natural foot they've gone more attacking and they pick up a highlight from it potentially in their defensive half then Dorfo, McNeil, building from the back. Over the top, can't pick out Mikatan. That was a little, little aggressive. 23 shots to five. You could definitely say we've dominated the match, and we have come a long way. Cernan stays on the ball, fighting for it. He's through the defense. And misses wide of the mark. Oh, he deserved a goal there. Taking on two defenders. He certainly deserved that. Cernan pops it in the net. That's his fifth of the season off the set piece. I wonder why he took that one and not, uh, not our new winger. Where's he at? The Dorfo. Mensa. He's way back here. Okay. I guess he just wanted a crack at the goal after that last play. Fair shake to him. 5-1 advantage. We will be happy with that. I'd like to keep it at that score line. There's a crack from range. Goes high. 3.17 on the XG. 5 in the net for the tally. 3 minutes of stoppage time. And we can easily call this a day now. We'll go ahead and blow the whistle. Unless you're going to give us another goal. Or a souvenir to the fans. Because I guarantee at full whistle, that ball's not coming back. Somebody's running out of the stadium with that, right? We're going to go outstretched arms. A good win. Got a little bit of complacency there. We've got two days left in the transfer window. Or one day after today. Not sure what's going to happen. Saren, one goal, one assist, two key passes. Superb in front of the goal. Five in a row without a loss. We got an email on uh, Mikatin that he was dropped from the uh, Ger I think he's German. I think he's German. He no, they were playing Germany. What what country is he from? Now I got to go find out. Mikatin, the Ukraine. He was dropped by the Ukrainian side. And, they, you know, because, you know, and they said he might have to go play for a bigger club to get back in. And I think that's the most ridiculous thing. You either have talent or you don't. And, you know, we're a recently relegated squad. So a lot of these guys are Premier League quality. Um, there's no reason he should not be considered if he has the talent. So I don't know.
Bolin. That was our first club. There you go. How are they doing? They're first in the Ukrainian Premier League. Good on them. Nice. That is excellent. But they are getting a bid for Kuchinsky. Yeah, he's been there for a while, so that was one of our guys. Fourteen and a half million. He's valued at ten. He's a star player. He's on a hundred and eight thousand dollars a month. Wow. He is a really good looking winger. I'm gonna scout him. We'll scout him just to see. All right, guys. Well, hit the like button if you like what you're seeing. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get reminders for the daily football manager content. We are in a pretty good run of form. Just need to keep uh, the losses to a minimum. Let's get a we got you know we got a good run uh, under our belt because of the recording snafu. I guess we'll come back. Well, Chelsea's too quick, and I'm expecting to lose that. Let's come back for um, let's come back for Blackburn and Huddersfield. That'll get us uh, you know five more matches under the belt and get us into uh, mid October. So we'll check that out next episode, guys. Thanks so much. We'll see you next episode. Take care. Bye.